So, I've got clap. Oh. Wow. The fuck with that? Sorry, it's just not much of a surprise. What do you mean? I get about a lot. I do not. Holy shit, I have to tell them all. You better get to work. I wouldn't say I'm addicted to sex. I just really fucking like it. Like, if you had a, a fucking a, a button and you just press it and it makes you feel good, you'd press it. Like, why wouldn't you? Right. Addiction is purely a mental thing. Mentality doesn't even come into this. Sex is purely biological. It is made to feel good. And I, shocker, kind of like to feel good. So I have sex. Fucking sue me. All started when I was 13. I was cock over brain in love with a girl called Zoe. Right, I got her flowers, I got her chocolates, the whole nine yards. And she rejected me. You know, I was heartbroken, I was devastated. I felt like my life was over. But, yeah, I'm young, so it's still feel like that. It, it's not the end of the world, right? My next encounter with love was when I was 14, dated a girl called Veronica. And I was like, oh shit. Love can be a thing without the agony. Turns out she cheated on me. Not only that, but she was continuously cheating on me for months. She just couldn't resist the iconic duo of Lynx Africa and an Adidas tracksuit. Then, there was Ella. Met Ella when I was 15. I was out drinking in a field with some mates. One thing leads to another and we end up having sex. I thought there was a real connection there. It turned out just to be a one night stand. Never heard from her again. Did, however, hear from a boyfriend. Heard his fist hit my face. Hit my face. You know, love is like Russian roulette. You're either elated or you want to jump out of the window. Currently on my way to work. I work in this tiny corner shop. It's a dead end job with absolutely no career prospects. So if I seem a bit negative at times, I do apologise. I mean, can you blame me for trying to get my dick wet? I have to be in that fucking shit all five days a week. The prospect of a quickie in the alley of some CD nightclub is all I've got going for me right now. Holly was super in sports. She was like the Picasso of making you sweat and not in the way you'd want her to be. She was always making me go for runs and shit with her. She got me some of those pregnant lady weights. Right. I can feel you judging me. And I do admit I am basically a marshmallow with legs. But hear me out. Exercise is just glorified self-harm. You're literally putting yourself through pain. That's not healthy. That's psychotic! So, you're still working out? Nah, not really. Yeah, I can tell. Then why'd you fucking ask? Yeah, to make you feel bad. This is why we broke up. Now we've got anywhere by feeling comfortable. I don't want to get anywhere. I am more than happy in this little shitty rut that I have burrowed myself into. Speaking of shitty burrows, you might have clapped. So that's why I set a new PB. Do you even know what clap is? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have to. Kelly was what some virgins would call a gamer girl. Sounds great though, right? You know, girl who plays video games. But she was like a real epic gamer. Like cosplaying and stuff. Still, sounds really cool though, right? I get to raid Lara Croft's tomb. No, she was like obsessed with games. She would constantly be on them and just ignore me. Always wanting one more match, one more attempt. Like the Razor headphones stay on during sex levels of batshit. So, uh, are you, are you playing? Are you winning? 
You have clap. Shh. I told her. Paula was this really cute Christian girl. At the time I was one of those bad boys wanting to turn it to the dark side. Turns out God is a lot more persuasive than genitalia. She wouldn't put out, so I left her. Never had sex. We never had s Why is she in the book? Cheryl Cole once said, too much of anything can make you sick. And she was spot on. Sammy constantly wanted sex. Now I love sex as much as the next man. This is enough proof of that. But there comes a point when you run out of cum, your balls look like deflated balloons, and your dick resembles a steak bake more than a sausage roll. So, do you want to have sex? No. Maybe. N no, no. See, I have some restraint. Well then, why are you here? Because I have clap. Oh shit, twins! Uh, you know you have clap. Yeah, I've had it for like five years now. Why didn't you tell me? Would you have fucked me if you knew I had clap? That is so messed up. Why wouldn't you get rid of it? It's literally taking some pills. It's like getting rid of a fucking headache. You are a fucking headache. <sighs> At least I don't have to do a tell everyone now. Oh, you probably still should. Why? Well, as much as it seems the case right now, there's a possibility that it wasn't me who gave you clap, and therefore you got it before me and you passed it on to other people. Son of a bitch. Stephanie was a brainiac. She was like Einstein with better hair. And a labia. She was always making me a better person. Problems really started when she would constantly pick faults with me. Like, I get it, I'm not perfect and I'm willing to change but there comes a point when you're changing who I am. And text talking! She hated text talking. Like, what difference does it make to you if I type T-H-O or T-H-O-U-R-S-T whatever? Hang on. Got an idea. Maria. It's from Stephanie. I'm both terrified and horny right now. Maria was amazing. She was funny, smart, kind. Honestly, one of the best people I've ever met. Things were doing great. Until she came out. So, you still a lesbian? Sexual preferences don't change. Yours did. I was finding myself. Did you by any chance check in between any women's legs? Fuck you. You already did. Guess what? Gave you clap. Stacy never gave me clap. Well, Stacy never gave you a good dating either. Huh. Actually, she's pretty mean with a strap on. Fuck's sake. I was a bit of a dick when I wasn't there. Shish likes vagina. I get that. I fucking love vagina. Laura was really fun. Until she cheated on me. Yeah, she can't figure this one out herself. So Laura was a cheater. Well, Beth. Beth was a reverse cheater. I know. What the fuck is a reverse cheater? Well, she'd make me have sex with other women. It wasn't even polygamous, like I was the only one having sex with other people and it wasn't even my idea. So, how's your, how's your boyfriend? Good. Where is he? Oh, uh, he's fucking Sammy. Ah. Well, oh, don't put this. you have clap. You gave me clap? Wait, that means you gave Mandy clap too, and Sasha, and Mindy. Okay, yes, I basically gave every one of your friends clap. I'm sorry. Vicky was really into food in the bedroom. 
and I'm not talking like a Matty's in bed, like she'd make me, you know, she probably already knows to be honest. Some things need to stay in the past, Matilda's one of them. So, told them all? Pretty, pretty much, yeah. What does pretty much mean? I've told everyone, apart from Till. You need to tell her. Um, I'm not ready to face that, man. You're never going to be ready, so just take the plunge, pull the trigger. I would sooner pull a literal trigger than that metaphorical trigger. Of all the people, you're really going to let her down. Bastard. Matilda... Matilda was the one. But, as usual, I fucked it up. Shit. Really, I've been an asshole, haven't I? I'm not really sure how to tell you this, so I'm just gonna come out with it. Uh, I'm sorry, first of all, but you, you probably have clapped. That's fine. I already know. Well, yeah, yeah, so that's good. I mean, it's not good. You, you, yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah. Right, yeah, I've got to ask. Am I a good person? What do you mean? Like, I've been looking at all my past relationships and I'm realising that I've been really shitty to people who I loved. I mean... Can you be an asshole? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you can be an ignorant piece of shit sometimes, but so can everyone. Then why is my love life such a train wreck? I don't know. But I do know that it takes two people to be in a relationship. You can't 100% blame yourself. Everyone has unpleasant characteristics. Even when I look back at our breakup, as much as you were a lot to blame, I know that I wasn't perfect. And... A relationship ending doesn't mean that you were wrong, and it doesn't mean that you were both wrong, but it just means that you were wrong for each other. Love isn't about just accepting the person's characteristics that you like, but it's also about putting up with the ones that you don't. <laughs> you were always the smart one. We didn't work out, but that doesn't mean I regret you, and it doesn't mean that I look back with bitterness. In fact, it's the opposite. When I look back at our time together, it was the most fun I'd ever had. Like, that time we went to Fenley Lake, and I put bread down your trousers. And the swan started pecking at my dick. <laughs> and the swan started pecking at your dick. Or that time we went hiking in um, Candle Woods. And you got really horny. Yeah, and we had sex in the middle of some trees. Ants everywhere. Fucking everywhere. Nikki, I don't believe that Everything happens for a reason, but I do believe that you need to use your past to shape a better future for yourself, because that's all we can really do. What have we learnt here? Don't speak to your exes. <sighs> Let them silently influence you.
Danny.